Hi, this is Pete with Westcott. Today we're going to be taking a look at connecting your FJ X2M trigger to your FJ400 strobe. So, first thing we're going to do is power on both units. You do that by long pressing the power button to activate them. All right? Second thing you're going to want to do is make sure that on your FJ X2M trigger that you have the correct camera setting. So choose your camera setting by rotating through, pressing the button. And today we're just going to choose the normal Canon mode. All right, next you want to make sure that the channel numbers on both the trigger and the strobe are matching. So right now we have the strobe set for 13 and the trigger set for 6. So we're going to need to change one of those. Let's go ahead and change both of them so that I can show you how that's done. So on the menu system of the strobe, you're going to push menu 1 to go into the channel group and ID selection. So we're going to want to change the channel. Let's go ahead and choose, say, channel 9 here on this. And then back to the trigger, we're going to also push the channel button, which is the center button on the main menu. And we're going to rotate the scroll wheel. Once it's, once it's highlighted, rotate the scroll wheel. And then activate that by simply pressing the button one more time. We have both set to channel 9 now. Now the next thing you're going to want to make sure is that you have a group assignment on the strobe it's set for C here. We're going to change that to group A. All right, and we want to make sure that on the trigger that the group is active. And that means it's either set for manual or TTL. All right, so you want to make sure that your, your group is active and that it, it is on the strobe and also on the trigger. All right, so we're in manual. We have the channel set, we have the group set, and we see that the group is active on the trigger. All right, we have it matched for our, the camera system we're gonna be using. One thing I did forget to say was going back to menu one, you do wanna make sure that the TTL all button is turned on. All right, if that's off, then it's not gonna allow a wireless connection. So TTL is all. In menu two, we have channel set for nine. We have a group A, which we can see if we highlight the trigger again, that group A is an active group and it's in manual mode. Test fire, we have connectivity.